G'day there. You're watching the Aussie BIM Guru, and today I've got a quick video to share. Um, it's one I wasn't actually planning to make, but I realized a way to do this. Um, and we're gonna be looking today at how you can downgrade Revit models, um, which is a very popular request. So the goal today is, of course, Revit does struggle with backwards compatibility. It's a well-known issue that the industry faces daily. Now, there's no simple way to downgrade your models. So I'll look at a more complex way today you can do it, assuming you have the right equipment and setup and time and people. So the easy part, step one, is you're gonna to need to make sure that you've closed your Revit model and your session, and you're gonna to have to make sure that all users have also closed the model in the session. This is to make sure you don't interrupt or interfere with the remaining steps. Step two is very important. You're gonna to have to adopt a disguise because what you're doing next is gonna make sure, you're gonna to need to make sure you're not recognized by anyone. It's also advisable to use a foreign accent so others won't know it's you when they encounter you. I'd suggest adopting something like sunglasses, a trench coat, and a potentially a thick Austrian accent. Now this is the hard part. Step three, you're gonna to need to travel back in time. It's up to you to figure this part out. I've got my own way, but you'll figure one out yourself, I'm sure. You must return to the same point at the exact point in time when you knew that you upgraded the model originally. And it's now your job to stop this from happening. You're gonna to have to make sure that you only do this in order to do your best to preserve the space-time continuum. There's a lot of ways you could go about this, but here's an example of an exchange you could use with your past self. Make sure to be forceful and that you should make sure that all client requests in future to upgrade the model should similarly be denied through intimidation. So here's just an example of how that might sound. Excuse me. I'm Detective John Kimball. One of us is in deep trouble. Don't start this. Bye. Finally, now that you've completed your mission, you can return back to the present. And if all went to plan, you should come back to your model back in the lower version with all the work still done that you would have done otherwise. And assuming you preserve the space-time continuum, all should be well. Otherwise, you might be using a program like AutoCAD, which could be quite scary. Anyway, happy April Fools. Um, if you like what you saw, feel free to follow. Obviously, I'm going to be doing serious videos again from Monday. Um, I had some great April Fools out there that I enjoyed, so I thought I'd share one as well. So see you, see you next time. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Sorry, I should say.